I'm a secret agent. Nothing can stop me. Ugh. Do it, hit me. Just hit me, please. Come on! What are you doing? Hi, mister! Are you okay? Am I okay? Are you sure? Am I okay? Are you sure? No, I'm not okay! No, get out of here! No. Mama, I knew that wasn't no Sasquatch. Do I look like a... Do I look like a Sasquatch to you? is peeling off! For goodness sake, mister, if you don't stop picking that, it's never gonna heal! Mama, I think he's in shock. I saw that on Oprah once. Mister, maybe you should lie down. Get off me. All you had to do was hit me! Was that too much to ask? All you had to do was hit me! Why are you running? Have I not given you all the information you need to succeed? Yet you still doubt my decision to place you on this assignment. You underestimate the value of these people. Sure they may use possums for loofahs. Brush their teeth with pine cones. Or even play spitting games like Hakalugi. Suey! <laughs> but in the end, they're still people. Countless times I have given you orders and you have followed them without question. You have always listened to my directions and obeyed. You have gifts and abilities unlike any other. That is why I placed you on this assignment. So stop running. All it has done is caused you pain. Follow my orders and you will succeed. Now arise and go. Why have I been tied up? <clears throat> I'm a level six operative in the National Bureau of Intelligence and you won't get away with this. Now listen, mister. Old Nub here and I are doing you a favor because when your lights went out out there, we tried everything we could to try to help you. And we mean everything. Well, it shames me to say so, but old ER reruns can only teach you so much. So we stabilized your airway. Without an emergency tracheotomy, I may add. Now he's going to take it to a real hospital. So you just sit back and enjoy the ride, Mr. Level 6 Operative, because it's about a three days drive from here to the nearest hospital. Three days? And this filth? Not 
Tetsu Mew, and that Tetsu Mew poke. Boy, you look famished. Let me get you some of this. Mm -hmm. You want a big it's piece okay. or a little piece? It's okay. We'll go you big piece. To. Big piece of it. Hey, little buddy, come, come here for a second. Hey, I really gotta get out of here. Will you undo this tape for me? No, my daddy says your, your brain doesn't work right and your face falls off. Listen, listen, that was just a disguise. This is all just a big mistake. Can you at least put my phone by my ear? No, 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 no! Margaret, this is the barber. Pass me through to the director. Mr. Director, sir. Sir, I owe you an apology. I defied your direct orders, and believe me, I know I was wrong. These last few days, I've had plenty of time to think about what I did, and I promise you I regret it. I'm not exactly sure where I am, but if there's any way you could get me out of this, I swear to you, I'll never do anything like this again. From what I can tell, I've been traveling north for about 72 hours. My last known coordinates were... Wait, wait a second, something's happening. We're pulling over. Sir, hey, what are you, Mr. Director? Mr. Director, I'm being moved to... This is Granny Clampett. Please tell the director that the comb is out of the jar with the blue stuff in it. You know, the blue stuff in the jar... Uh, okay. Uh, the barber is back in business. The barber? Yeah. Look, just tell the director that we dumped Joe off. <laughs> 